Welcome back. We now cross over to our international correspondent, David Kibuka, who's in Canada. Dave, how is it there? This place is noy. How can you say that about Canada? Canada is one of the best countries to live in, Dave. What's going on? That is what the DA would have you believe. Because the DA tell their members that when they die, their souls will go to Canada. But what they don't tell them is the mayor of Toronto is a crackhead who is refusing to resign. Funny you should say that, Dave. I was just talking about the DA earlier. The DA go whichever way the wind blows. Like they said they didn't like BEE, then they realized that it wasn't a good idea to try and get the black vote by telling black people that they weren't going to give them money. So all of a sudden, the DA changed their tack. Their what? Their tack. Like they changed what they were saying. It's like white folks will do just enough to be seen as non-racist. What do you mean, Dave? Like in sports, white folks say they want sports to be multiracial, but then they put the minimum amount of black players in the teams, and they put them in positions where they can't influence the game. Like in rugby, black players are always on the wing. You can't influence the game when you're on the wing. Sometimes wings spend the whole game without touching the ball. If white folks are serious about transformation, they need to put black players in positions like fly half and flank. Even the ref must be black, not wings, wings, wings. This is not chicken licket. Okay, okay, back to Canada. How did the mayor of Canada become a crackhead? Who knows why he became a crackhead? Because I can understand how people become alcoholics. Because alcohol companies always advertise by telling you, drink this drink and people will think you're awesome. But there are no ads that say, smoke this crack and it will make you funky and fresh. That's why I can't understand how comrades started smoking Peter Stuyvesant. Why not Peter Stuyvesant? Because Peter Stuyvesant used to advertise by saying, if you smoke our cigarettes, you can have fun and ride on a jet ski. But we all know the situation with black people and swimming pools, let alone jet skis. And, and you say that the mayor of, um, uh, of Toronto refuses to resign, is that true? Yes. It's almost like he listened to Jacob Zuma's secret motivational tapes, where Mshololozi says, our people saying you should be fired. Or uh, even some of your own people calling for you to resign. Well, just ignore them and start building property. Property, it's the best investment. Dude, why are you bringing Jacob Zoma into this thing? He's not involved. Dave, tell us about Canada. Thank you, Loy. Tell, ah, that was David Kibuka, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see him next week. News that moves. ENCA.com.